There, oh, yes! Spinner shark, you guys! Are you kidding me? On the spinning rod! Oh, no! All right, oh my gosh, this is totally unexpected. What's going on? Happy people. I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. And for years, you guys have been asking me to do a shark, catch, clean, and cook. Well, if I can catch this rascal, he's going home and getting eaten. Whoa. Did you guys just see that? No way. I literally just came down here, threw out a mullet trying to catch a tarpon, and got worked by a spinner shark. Actually, that's a black tip, not a spinner. Okay, I think we're gonna need to go get the uh, anchor out and go chase him. No, oh, he just broke me off. <sighs> that was a giant, giant black tip shark, you guys. That's it, now we're shark fishing. Okay, welcome to the show, everybody. This is my life on YouTube. Thanks for being a part of it. Now that we, now that we know there's spinner sharks here, or black tip sharks, we're gonna try to catch one. No way, that was insane. Now I'm ready for them. Got me a little blue runner, wire leader, 200 pound wind on leader. This is a Talica 16. Now this is proper. Okay. Come to Papa. You guys have been saying do a catch, clean, and cook on a shark for years. If that wasn't a fluke and I actually get another bite, it's gonna happen today. But I'm gonna rig up one more rod. Literally, that shark had my heart pounding. That was so cool. Always use a circle hook. That'll hook the sharks right in the corner of the jaw, which is where you want them hooked. Perfect. Here we go, here we go, got him right here. Just got picked up. Please be a shark. Come on. Yeah, baby. Yes, it is. Black tip. Are you kidding me? Oh, mackerel. This thing's on. Oh, yeah. Going under the boat. That was one of the craziest fish I've ever had. He literally jumped not 15 feet from the boat. My thumb feels like I stuck it in hot lava. It just got roasted. There he goes. He's literally gonna swim right by the boat. Holy cow. I don't care who you are, that's amazing. Did you guys just see that? He's got me down to the backing, which means he's over 300 yards out. We're gonna have to chase this fish. He made a vicious run. Okay, go ahead and pull up the anchor, and then we're gonna go get him. We're just gonna try to close the distance on him with the boat. One great thing about this Shimano Talica is it's such a high speed retrieve that it's very forgiving. When you're closing the gap with the boat like this, you gotta keep tension. Otherwise, get slack line, you lose your fish real easy. Okay. I've got him out here, we're away from the beach. I'm gonna see if I can't just 
make him burn some energy, which is what he's doing. I mean, what a crazy fish. I'm really being quiet right now because I'm concentrating, trying to make sure I don't break them off. We're using super light wire. And when you're fighting a fish that is so crazy, he's always gonna figure out what your weakest link is. Oh, 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 he's twisting and rolling. When he twists and rolls like that, I've gotta just take all the pressure off of him. I mean, this is one upset fish. He heard me talk about catch, clean, and cook and was like, no way, Jose. Got my wind on leader right here, which means he's close. Come here, buddy. That's actually a huge black tip, really big one. Yeah, now, buddy, I got you now, son. Watch out, I gotta go around the front of the boat. Oh, he's a little bit too big for that right now. That is a huge, huge black tip. Yes, are you kidding me? No way, bro. That is a huge black tip. Oh, here's a remora. Look at that. You're gonna have to find a new buster rod, boy. All right, you guys, this was a battle. Black tips, they're not threatened, they're not endangered. They don't even have a size limit. You just have to have a saltwater fishing license to come out and harvest one. You've been asking for over five years for me to do a shark, catch, clean, and cook. It happened today. Thank you so much for all the love, the support, the encouragement. I'm gonna take them back to camp, clean them up, and then we're eating shark, y'all. This had to be one of the most exciting fishing trips in a long, long time for me. Black tip shark in the boat. Now it's time to clean them. What I wanna do? A, you've got to have a super sharp knife can't be messing around just cut off these fins like that good come over here There's a bone right there that we have to go around. Again, make sure you've got a nice sharp knife. Come right down the center line. Just like that. Now, if I didn't tell you that was shark, you would think that's swordfish. Same thing, I just like to come in here at manageable sizes so you're not dealing with a gigantic piece of meat. Perfect. Let's 
see how perfect that meat is right there. Beautiful. Now all we'll do is just make nice one inch steaks. And that will go right on the grill. Get a little bit of that bloodline on there. Like that. You got yourself a perfect shark steak. It's opening day of turkey season. So I'm gonna rip through the rest of this shark, bone it all out, package it up, package it up, throw it on ice so we can turkey hunt this afternoon. But right now, I wanna go cook some of this rascal. I've gotta confess, this is the first time I've ever actually cleaned a black tip shark. It's also the first time I've ever cooked one. So I'm gonna do something that's normal to me because I wanna taste the fish and I wanna know how this shark tastes compared to all the other fish that I eat. So if you're gonna cook fish, especially like a swordfish or maybe a shark or big grouper, something like that, or even a tuna steak, this is a tried and true awesome recipe. Take a little olive oil, not a ton, and just uh, lather it up there. Everglades fish and chicken. Not a ton, just give it some flavor there. And take these little onion slices like that, same thing. Little original Everglades on top of there. Oh yeah. Look how pretty that is. All right, you guys, let's take a look at it. It certainly has a very firm texture to it. I mean, it almost feels hard, which is great. I mean, like, it, it feels hard. That's nuts. Maybe there's a reason why nobody eats these things. I'm very excited about the turkey hunt, and I'm very curious as to what that's gonna taste like. If you were here, would you rather eat that shark or go turkey hunting with me. Leave it in the comments below. All right, y'all, here goes nothing. I can tell you right now, for the first time in deer meat for dinner history, I am not overly confident that this is gonna be even good at all. Might be, but I don't have a lot of confidence in it being. It's certainly tough, it feels like I'm cutting pork. If you just put this on my plate and close my eyes, cut it up and put it in my mouth, I would swear it was pork chop. Same texture. Just tastes like a... Tastes like a tender pork chop. That is crazy. <laughs> what does it taste like to you? <laughs> I can't say it any different from you. I mean, that is, has no texture it's like definitely not the same texture as fish yeah definitely not but i can see exactly where you say pork chop from because mm -hmm. i got nearly i don't know how to explain it really if you really like pork chops go catch yourself a black tip shark and you got about 100 pounds of pork chops but if you want a piece of meat that tastes like fish you tastes like good fresh fish should taste like, this isn't your deal. What I will say about it is, those sharks are majestic, they're powerful, they're epic, and I don't think I'll ever keep another one. Is it good? Yeah, it's good, I could eat it. Is it something I wanna go catch again so that I can eat it again? No, it's not. Look beautiful. Fun to catch. Yeah, fun to catch, just not exactly perfect, but, you guys asked for over five years for me to do a shark catch, clean, and cook, and it happened. So please drop a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think. And if you wanna see another catch, clean, and cook of something crazy, leave it in the comments below. And if I can, I will. Grab it. But guess what? Today, where are we going, Jordy? I'm gonna try to turkey. Turkey hunting. That's all I got for you now. Take care, God bless.
are gone.